So hey, Long Care Nation, in this video, I wanna talk about being on alert for red flags when you're out quoting new clients. Coming up. Hey, Long Care Nation, I was out doing some quotes today uh, in between uh, mowing some of my regular customer lawns and uh, I uh, sent out uh, one of the quotes uh, like I normally do by email. And, uh, you know, in the uh, quote, it normally uh, talks about um, all of the policies and everything that I have in place, including uh, the that I do weekly mowing, um, talks about uh, the dog waste uh, policies, um, how uh, yard clippings are left in uh, their green bin for the city to take away, and how, um, you know, they pay by uh, credit card. And uh, I got a response back from uh, one of the clients uh, who asked a very short, uh, only two sentences uh, in their response email, but it raised a bunch of red flags in just those two sentences. Um, so here's the response back that I got. Uh, it said, thanks, Julio. Uh, would we be able to opt for bi-weekly cutting? Uh, also, would you, uh, when would you be available to do the first cut? And is there any contract required? So right away that raised a bunch of red flags. Now, this was a client um, that when I went to go look at the property uh, already wasn't my ideal client. Um, it was uh, sort of um, uh, not the greatest for parking, although it wasn't too bad. It was a second house away from a corner where there was a bit of parking that I could park and walk to. Um, but then for the client then to uh, only be asking for just mowing, they don't want fertilizer, they don't want aerating, they don't want anything else, they just want mowing. And then now to get a response from them um, when I've clearly laid out all of the policies um, on uh, the uh, original quote, as well as they originally submitted the quote through my website that also explains all of the policies and uh, you know what the service entitles uh, or entails. Uh, so for them to then come back and ask, would they be able to opt for bi-weekly cutting um, is the first red flag. And then the second red flag was, are there any contracts required? Uh, so right there, it's telling me that, uh, of course, with them not wanting anything but cutting, that they're just looking for the absolute cheapest price, that they're not uh, too concerned about the quality. Um, when I looked at the lawn, uh, it had looked like the edges had never been done or anything like that. It was very, uh, you know, full of weeds and stuff. At least it was it was flat. It was the the one positive? It wasn't full of dips and stuff. It was you know fairly flat, um, but it was just you know only ever cut. It had you know no other attention uh, put to it. So then for them to be asking if they could have it cut only every two weeks, um, you know, when it's growing, it was quite tall uh, when I went to go look at it, and um, you know to ask if there was any contracts required. Uh, was the second really big red flag because that's telling me that, uh, you know, uh, if my response is that, um, you know, they only want a weekly cut, that, uh, you know, they may hire me now to do it now in the spring. But as soon as that summer uh, weather hits where things start to slow down, and I naturally go to a bi weekly cut uh, in the summer, that they're more likely to drop me uh, at that point. That they're just looking for somebody to. Uh, you know, just get it done right now to, you know, keep it under control. But the moment they can, um, they're looking to uh, stop the service. So, you know, a couple of red flags there right away in only two sentences. So I would say when you're out there quoting your customer lawns to always uh, be on the lookout for little subtle clues uh, that customers may be uh, telling you, whether they're looks like they're price shopping, uh, things like that, asking if there's contracts required, asking, uh, you know, uh, if they can modify the service, if they're um, countering you with a, a different price than what, um, you know, you've uh, quoted them on saying, you know, can you do it for this much? Or uh, the guy, the old guy used to do it for this much. Or, you know, what if I pay you cash? Things like that, that all sort of uh, take them down a notch from your ideal customer. Remember, there's only a certain amount of time throughout the year. We have a limited season on when you can do work and you want to do the most profitable uh, highest quality work in that time. You don't want to waste your time uh, doing those low profit jobs. Uh, so always remember that you only have that limited amount of time to do your work uh, in the season and try to find the best customers, the most profitable customers um, to uh, fill in that time with. 
those I have found over the years as well are also the clients that uh, I have had the longest are the ones that take pride and, and want their lawns to look the greatest. The ones that I don't care, they don't want those extra services, they just want it cut um, you know, as minimally as possible. Their only focus is uh, trying to save as much money as possible uh, in uh, doing their yard care and they're not the type of customer that's gonna help your business grow. Of course, if you're just starting out, then this could be completely different and you may need to fill in that space and gain that experience and you know take on those types of customers uh, because it's better than sitting at home. But over the years, you'll find uh, a certain type of customer that you're wanting to go after and uh, those are the ones that you should focus on. So always look for those red flags when you're out there quoting those lines. So uh, that's it for this one, guys. If you like this video, make sure you hit that like button. If you haven't subscribed yet, consider subscribing. Leave a comment down below and let me know some of the red flags that you've noticed uh, when you're dealing with your customers or out there quoting uh, some of your jobs. So if you like this type of how to start a lawn care business type video, I'll leave another one for you to watch up here in this corner, or I'll leave one of my other videos for you to watch up here in this corner. So that's it for this one, guys. Here's to wishing you guys all overwhelming success and freedom in your lawn care business. Bye for now.